Hi there, welcome back to Diamond Ridge Studios. In today's video, I am going to be doing my top five favorite model horses in my collection. These are just going to be OF Briar model horses. I'm pretty sure this was started a really long time ago. I am not the original creator of this challenge. I'm pretty sure somebody said <clears throat> that Cinnamon Mew Mew started the challenge. I am not completely sure. And so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my number five horse is Matt McLaughlin's Pecos. He is the Briarfest 2011 celebration horse. I did not go to Briarfest. I have never gone to Briarfest, but I got him secondhand on eBay, new in box, so that was pretty cool. I really like his coloring. That's probably what drew me to him in the first place. I've been thinking about getting a horse in this mold ever since I originally saw the mold when Bavarian Roses came out in 2014, I'm pretty sure. And so I found Pecos. He's my favorite coloring wise and he wasn't ridiculously expensive. So I was very happy to be able to find him. And I love him. The mold isn't my favorite, but it's still very expressive. And I think with the match with this coloring, it is superb. And I'm very happy to have Pecos in my collection. Number four horse is my only decorator that I have. And that is the 2016 um, Halloween horse. This is Poltergeist. He is the Halloween horse. <laughs> And I got him because, again, I saw him online. I already had American Pharaoh in the mold, so I knew I liked the mold. And I saw him, and I was like, that has got to be the coolest model horse I've ever seen. With the skeleton, the glow-in-the-dark feature. Online, he was like $250. And I was like, I don't, A, don't have that kind of money. B, sorry, Poltergeist, not worth that kind of money to me at least. I'm sure some people he is. So I waited until I was able to find him in a tax store and I'm pretty sure he was on sale. So I was able to get him for a discounted price. Poltergeist is a very precious part of my collection and I'm very happy to have him. My, moving on to my number three horse, this may come as a surprise, but we have Barbaro. <laughs> Barbaro is from, I don't remember, I think he's just a regular run from a while ago, and he has war paint on him. Um, so as some of you may know, I do have a second channel, and on that channel I create model horse movies, and film, I enter film competitions and things like that with my brother, and so he currently has his war paint on for one of the series that I'm filming currently and that is why it does come off do not panic. I really hope Briar bring, brings back this chrome undershading on the models in the future which maybe they will maybe they won't. So that is my number third horse and Pecos and Poltergeist do not have special show names. I do not show model horses but I enjoy giving them names for the fun of it and so his show name is standing outside a broken phone booth with money in my hand you get the reference good job moving on to the top two we have my number two horse drum roll true north so true north as some of you may know is the 2016 i think or 2017 i I, I don't know. I think it's 2016. Right? No, 2017. Um, Premier Club Horse, he was the first release, and it was love at first sight, in, in all honesty. I When I first found out that there was a site called Identifier Briar, I looked at the releases for 2017, and I saw him, and I was just like, oh, he's a regular run. He's going to be beautiful. This was before I really understood regular runs and things like that and I was like oh I'll, I'll be sure to find him because look at this 
And unbeknownst to me at the time that he was a premier club horse and you have to join the club and all that stuff. So I did not end up joining the club or anything like that. And I ended up having to find him second hand. My parents helped me buy him for my birthday. And that was... I was so happy to finally be able to have him in my collection and in in my hands. So his show name is Mommy's Little Psycho and bonus points to you if you get the reference of his name. And I made him a little mini me version who will put a picture up right now of and that is Daddy's Little Soldier. And yeah, I, I love this horse. He's kind of flawed, but I, I love him all the same. I'm not going to show him, so it doesn't make a difference to me. My favorite horse in my entire collection is... Ember! Or Grey Appaloosa Sport Horse thing. I don't know. So this is Ember, he is on the gem twist mold, and he doesn't look very fancy, does he? Um, so he was one of my first traditionals that I ever had, and he just holds a very special place in my heart. He was my favorite, he's been my favorite horse in my collection for a really long time now and he has suffered the wear and tear of playing, filming, falling, he lost his ear and was very poorly repaired. And he is one of four gem twists that I magically accumulated. He is the first that I ever got, which is like just precious. So that is my favorite model horse in my collection, Ember. Comment down below your favorite horses or send me links to videos that you guys have done before. And if you have done this kind of video before, I'd love to see who your favorite horses are and all that. So thank you for watching this video and please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more model horse and model horse customizing related content. You can also follow me on Instagram at Diamond Ridge Studios and be sure to turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload, which is at the moment every Sunday and the last Wednesday of every month. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!